I decided to go natural after perming my hair for 21 years. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Nika and welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With Nika. Guys, today we're gonna talk about me going natural. The process is real, sis. A little backstory about my perm journey. Guys, I've been getting perm since I was seven years old, faithfully every six weeks for the last 21 years. And the reasons I decided to go natural. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I decided to go natural because the woman in my family been doing relaxer for years. It's like a historical thing. Like they've been doing this for a decade. They moms, moms, moms been doing this for decades. As I got older, I'm seeing that my mom, my grandma, my aunts that have done perm, the older you get, your hair is not as strong anymore. So it starts to break, it starts to get thin. And me being in my late 20s, I'm deciding that when I'm older, I do not want my hair to thin. I do not want my hair to fall out. I wanna still have that nice, health, healthy, bouncy hair. So I'm deciding to go natural. While I was doing relaxer, I'm not going to lie, I love that the hair can, you know, move and it can be in a ponytail and when you get your braids, your braids look so slick and when you get your leave out sewing weaves, your hair matches with the weaves, the virgin hair, it looks so beautiful, I'm not going to lie. But as we get older, we have to make wise decisions and all those chemicals are not healthy at all. So today I went to the hairdresser guys to get my hair washed and I can't believe how much naturalness I have to my hair. It is so beautiful. I just love to see my natural curl pattern. I do go to the Dominican hair salon to get my hair washed and also blown out. I know heat is not good for your hair, guys, but I do light heat, meaning just the blow dryer. I do not do the flat iron because the less heat, the better. But I just wanted to see if I can do this, I'm not going to lie, there's times I am tempted, when I say tempted, I am tempted to just say, forget this, I'm doing a perm. Cause the roots are too rough, like sometimes I can't even put a comb through it when I wash it myself. That's why I go to the Dominican. They can handle it, they have the time and patience, I don't. I am happy seeing the new growth, I am happy seeing the natural texture of my, house, my hair because I never seen it. I never seen how my hair looks, I never seen it. From seven to my age now, I have never seen my natural hair. So I did not decide to do the big chop, I decided to transition slowly into naturalness. Um, I think I'm going to cut it this year August I wanted to at least get ponytail length as long as I could put it in a little ponytail I think that's when I'm going to chop off the rest of the perm but guys I think that we should all go natural I think we should embrace our beauty especially our black queens out there God gave us this nice beautiful bouncy curly hair that we can style in many ways and I feel I feel like we should embrace that beauty I'm not going to add any more relaxer to my hair. I'm just, I feel good. I'm happy that I made this decision. Less heat, less heat, the better. Guys, I am so proud of myself. I have not got a perm since 2021 July. It's almost been a year. And just seeing my new growth, the curl pattern, I'm just so proud that I made it this far. Um, I did not decide to do the big chop because I didn't want to be bold. I've never been bold before. <laughs> I never, like, not had my hair be able to go in a ponytail, so I didn't want to even do the big chop. I'm waiting. I still have a little perm left. I'm going to insert pictures, but I'm waiting for my hair to at least reach ponytail length. Once it reaches ponytail length, I will chop off the rest. I'm thinking by August, around my birthday, I'm going to chop off the rest of the perm. Hopefully by then, it is ponytail length. Lately, going natural, using natural products, eating natural foods and stuff like that so I just wanted to see could I do it like could I do it and I made it this far it's almost been a year so I'm super excited about you know what the future holds I, this is my hair guys every time I go to the Dominicans I have them clip the ends my hair was longer than this it was about right here I'm going to insert pictures of how long my hair used to be when I used to get perms faithfully but um this is my hair now and um I think my natural hair is about here and the rest is perm. And I'm not ready to chop it off because I'm scary, guys. But I do get my ends clipped every time I go little by little by little. 
Um, also, you know, my lady told me do not put too much heat on my hair, which I love the place that I go to because she's like, she's real. Some people just like don't care. They do your hair. They don't care if it breaks or falls out. She lets me know like, look, girl, the less heat, the better. So when she's done washing me, guys, she rolls me up, put me under the blow dryer. Once I come out the blow dryer, she just blows dry a little bit the root and that's it she don't put no flat iron she don't put no heat i maintain it guys i try to keep it wrapped um at times in the beginning when i first started going natural um i decided that i'm gonna get a lot of braids and a lot of um frontal wigs that's what i decided i said i'm gonna get a lot of braids because i don't want to see the process i don't want to have to play with my hair because i know the roots are rough um i didn't want to have to play with it i wanted to keep my hands away from it so i stayed with braids braids and um frontal um frontal installs that's what i stayed with because i just kept my hair braided didn't have to bother with it didn't have to deal with it and i didn't i didn't like i didn't go through a rough process but I, when i do take out those braids after wearing a wig for so long sis it's rough <laughs> it is super rough like sometimes i'm looking in the mirror i'm like how do girls deal with this? How can a girl be 100% natural? Like, I cannot even sit here and detangle this. Like, this is rough. And I think because I have half perm, half natural, it's more of a hard transitioning for me because it's like the hair is gonna break because it has that perm at the end and it's not completely natural. So it's hard to detangle sometimes because it gets knotted, it gets matted. But I try to use natural shampoos, um, Natural shampoo, I use silicone mix as the deep conditioner. I do a lot of deep conditioning, guys, to soften the roots. But um, I love it. I'm not gonna lie, even when I had my when I had my daughter, as she got older, I was like, oh, because I'm so used to doing perm at the age of seven. I said, you know, when she hits seven, I'm gonna perm her hair though. But by doing my daughter's hair so long and her not getting a perm, she's six now, I'm gonna keep it like I'm going natural with her. So we're both gonna be natural, team natural all the way guys so my hair stylist also told me about this product called keratin keratin is also like a perm but it's not as harsh on the hair so it still makes your roots soft enough to manage but to me it's still like chemical so i don't even think i'm interested in that type of thing to be honest with you but i will keep you guys along on this journey and maybe i'll also videotape when i do chop off the rest of the perm in august and hopefully by then it's ponytail length or i'm not cutting it <laughs> Cause it has to be ponytail at least but guys thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel don't forget to like subscribe and share and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video and i'll see you in the next one peace out